just came by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not cheating. He is not oppressing. He does not behave unjustly. So that is class 161 that we explained in the last sitting. We will now come to class 162. Outside the pain of Islam. 
because incorporates even in a radically have been considered as part of the Muslim Ummah. They are part of the Muslim Ummah, except that they are not good believers. So, a person whose behavior is hypocritical is imitating the hypocrites who are not having good belief at all, <coughs> who are not having correct creatures. And that is why the behavior of this kind of a person is considered to be a taboo, a taboo, kabira min al one of the greatest sins. And you should know the difference between shirk and ordinary kufur. When you are talking about shirk polytheism, Allah does not forgive. Allah, Allah does not forgive shirk. In Allah, but he forgives whatever that is below politicizing. So if you are having any of the conducts of hypocrites, it is better for you to repent and adjust. Because you cannot say whether you are part of the people that will be pardoned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should not die with that conduct. So, as far as these behaviors of hypocrites are concerned, we have it in an hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that says, Ayatul Munafiki that the signs of the hypocrite person are three. In the Hadatha Hadab, whenever he speaks, he will die. Waida Wana Akhalafa, whenever he makes promise, he breaks his promise. Waida Utumina Khana, whenever it enters into a covenant with someone, he will always betray. The prophet now say what he saw. Even if that person is, is observing his fasting regularly, that notwithstanding, he will remain and incorporate. Wasallah, even if he is punctual at the performance of salah. He will still remain an hypocrite. Wazama and no Muslim. If he claims falsely that he is a true Muslim, he will never be regarded by Allah as a true Muslim. Fellow Muslims may be deceived and regard him as a Muslim, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can never be deceived. This hadith has been reported by Imam Muslim on the authority of Abu Huraira in number 59 in his Sahih. While Bukhari reports it, but with a slight difference in hadith number 6000. Who always seeks the good pleasure of Allah 
Close that thing. Just close it. 